hello good afternoon yes i'm just making this video because of uh kiss i saw for that young man kelvin Ocheng obed a fairly intelligent young man who scored is in his kcse in malanda high school proceeded to university of nairobi where he attained a first class in actuary of science, but he's been living a dejected young man. And the reason I'm making this video is just to try, try and see what we can learn from this. Because it's uh, an experience that um, maybe most of us have had. It's not only Jaled Ochien, there are many young men like him. Who finish, who finish university with a lot of um, hope about the future and the job market. But that did not happen. We've seen another one before where citizen covered and then employers came forward after that. Now, the reason I'm making this video is, and I will encourage you to go to my YouTube channel and watch my interview with my son, Gichui. Um, when he was finishing his um, primary school, he was awarded an actor of the year. And I thought he's very brilliant academically. But um, if I wait until he finishes edu his edu education in university and come up with a first class and then tell him to go out there and apply for jobs, it will be too late. And that's why I've taking it on myself to try and build on his co-curricular activity. That acting, um, I'm going to get him maybe to do another video to explain what acting he's been doing in school and why he was awarded that by his teachers. But it is good. When you realize that um, your child has more attributes outside of the academics, you can work on them. You can try to encourage him to become someone else. Education should be there to help him understand issues, not to be the only main thing. That you have to wait until you graduate to go sending application. We need to encourage our young people, our young men, our young women, that despite being so brilliant academically, we need to start tapping into the other attributes, the co-curricular activities they undertake in school. And this this is why those who saw that video of me and my son Gichui, I'm trying to encourage him so that by the time he gets to university, he will he will have known that there is more out there than just the academic grades. They are good. It's very good to encourage our young people to be educated because it's one of the main aim, fighting ignorance. But Education should not just be the key. We should not just go to university so that we become employed. We should be looking at how even to change our society, create employment. There should be no excuse why someone who was so bright attaining a first class should be suffering, should be struggling out there, doing, feeling like the world has come to an end. And this is one of the main things our young men and women are committing suicide. They are becoming so hopeless because they focus so much on one area and they did not get people to encourage them to look big. In business, we call it diversification. You cannot just concentrate on one industry because if that industry fails, then all your wealth can go into waste. The same with our young people. We need to start encouraging diverging, divergent views. If you've got other attributes outside the academic, work on them. They are not mutually exclusive. You can combine so that if one area does not work, the other one. If you go to someone and you are doing something different and even tell them you have degrees, they will see whether you are doing what you studied in university or not, they will understand that your academic is not going to waste. But you cannot just put it in the pocket and start complaining. It should be there to supplement your way of life. So let's encourage our young people and women to tap 
into the others. I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Viongo Kishuhi, where I'll be posting more videos like this. Thank you very much and God bless you.